The biggest mistake I made in my business was not hiring a professional to help me with my money. Not just my taxes, but the actual plan I had for my business. I was completely lost on how to handle taxes, what to do with profit, and how to maintain my income. I had to find a better way. That's when I found Core Financial. Core Financial is a team of tax professionals that actually care about building real relationships with their clients. They run my books, keep me up to date with my finances, and make sure I'm taking full advantage of all of my tax benefits. Are you struggling with your finances? Look no further. Core Financial is a brand that is nationwide that can help you with your business. Both Nick and I are huge fans of Core and they can help you too. Check out howtofilmweddings.com slash core to schedule a consultation today. Core Financial, real relationships, no surprises. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the How to Film Weddings podcast. My name is Nick Miller and I am joined as always by my best good buddy, Mr. John Bunn. John, down in Tulsa, Oklahoma, how are you doing today? I am doing great. Spring has sprung. It is April. It is, it is April. crazy. We're in the second quarter of the year already. I've done two weddings this year. I have 13 still to go. The end of April into the middle of May into June, I have like eight of my weddings for the year. So I've got a lot coming up and uh, I don't know. Things are great. This is my favorite season of the year. If you want to fight me, you can. But spring is the best time of year. Fall. All the trees are blooming. Everything Fall. is great. Fall is the second best by far. It's not even a close comparison. But in Oklahoma, okay spring is the best. So I'm in a great mood. What about you? What's new? I know you're about to be going somewhere pretty fun. Yes, yes. I'm in a I'm in a really good mood. Um, I have also shot two weddings in 2021 so far. Um, as of recording this on Thursday, as you listen to this, I, my wife and I will be hopping on a plane and heading to Cabo, Mexico for a, a, a... Yeah, you were there just a couple Done weeks that. ago. Got the shirt. Uh, yeah, uh, for a wedding uh, down there. So we're really looking forward to that. I actually had a a planning session, like a plan your story kind of session a little bit with um, the couple uh, the other day. So I had a few ideas and they were really excited about it. So I'm excited to get down there and film and see what I happens. I can't wait to see what you do with, with that wedding film. I don't know if you guys out there listening or not know, but Nick Miller runs a company called Wild Oak Films. And it's kind of a big deal. Like, I don't know when this happened, but I mean, you've always been great, but all of a sudden it's like, you've got 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. You're getting ever so close to that swipe up feature on Instagram, just building slow and steady crock pot. Can I get a witness? <laughs> uh, sometimes I make myself laugh, but Nick, we don't have a guest today. We you don't. and I were talking the other day, yes. and I think this is a really good topic. Um, you were talking about the fact that you had a consultation with a couple and you just felt really like it didn't go well. You felt like it didn't like land like you wanted and you wanted yeah. to kind of just break down what you do, walk through it. I maybe give you some pointers, that sort of a thing. But first you should tell our listeners about what's coming up this week. Do you, do you know the thing? Uh, I Yes, I do know the thing. So just in a couple of days as you're listening to this live, this Wednesday, April 7th at 2 p.m. Central, okay, we are going to host a live workshop called Build a Better Story, um, learning your couples and, and learning about them and, and helping you navigate that so that you can tell really great wedding stories. So if you would like to sign up uh, to be a part of this group, it's a separate group from our How to Film Weddings group, uh, go to howtofilmweddings.com slash free workshops. And if you go there, that's howtofilmweddings.com slash free workshops. You can sign up, get in the group, and uh, we are going live this Wednesday at 2 p.m. Central time in the afternoon. So the video will just be live in that group. So that's what how we're much, doing. How much does it cost to join the free workshops again? It is 1000 and Stanley Nichols. All right, you've heard it here. What is the ratio of those to Nick Bucks? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, these are free and we love doing these. Our course is coming back soon. We're really excited about that. Leading up to it, we love doing uh, 
some free workshops, different things like that, just to kind of show you what's in our course, show you the kinds of teaching that we um, provide. And, and that, it, you know, just as a ramp up, it gets us so excited to do all kinds of free content. We're committed to this free podcast, free workshops. Our YouTube channel's been kind of growing, which is pretty great. I did a little neat. review on my newest drone, which I'm really excited about. If you haven't checked it out over there, enough plugging things. I feel like a 50 year old bald man trying to get hair plugs. No more <laughs> plugging. <laughs> All right. I mean, Nick Giggle, oh, let's get goodness. into this episode. So Nick, break down for me well, your consultation. So here, here, here was my thought. And yeah. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but well, let's I, I kind of live. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little like role playing kind of stuff where you are a couple. Well, that's not this kind of podcast. Yeah, Nick. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but but you you are a for real couple that has contacted oh. me, and I'm going to pretend to call you on the phone, and we'll just oh, kind of go yeah. through it, and I'll, I'll give you answers. So I know you're doing a little acting here. Let's say, um, you know, I'll have information that I'm going to make up on the fly about your venue and your planner and that sort of stuff. And and as we're going, you know, if there's anything that I say that you can kind of like stop me, what what do you think of this idea? This was this was my my thought in head, and I and I don't think I communicated I think that before we hit play. Well, here's the thing: Record. I've always wanted to do some role play <laughs> with you about wedding consultations, specifically only. <laughs> so I think it's a great idea. I will try my best to not be a goofball. But I cannot guarantee it. And for the sheer sake of entertainment, I may may be a little bit of a goofball. So I can't help myself. As but no, long, in all seriousness. As long as you don't tell me that your name is Butlicker, I'll be fine. <laughs> William Butlicker. That's my name. No, I will be good. I, I'm down to party. However, um, I can help. It ultimately, you know, whenever you were texting me the other day, it's like, man, I just feel like crap. I didn't like, I really wanted this wedding. I feel like if the consultation didn't go well and I was like, well, let's go over what you're doing and let's see, because I think a lot of us like think that we have to get it right every single time. Or if we mess up, like, and that a lot of us too think there's a secret formula and there really isn't. And I have noticed over the years, if I try to get too much into a system that's like, I do this, then I do this, then I do this. Like, that's my system now. That's my cookie cutter process. And people are people and everyone's different. And you have to get really good at EQ, your emotional quotient, and really empathizing with them and understanding where they are. And the more that you can get to that frame of mind and get them in that frame of mind and their their consultation, the more likely you're going to book them. Mm -hmm. But even with that, even with thousands of consultations and people telling me that like, I'm the best salesman that they know and all this stuff, which, you know, thanks for the people that tell me that, but like, I'm still like one out of 10, two out of 10 bookings. And I think that's yeah. something to really throw out there is like, even if you do all the things right again and again, sometimes you just don't get the booking still. It just happens. So don't let yourself get frustrated. And hopefully this is helpful today. So Nick, yeah. did you just tell me what to do? Yeah, yeah. So um, so I'm going to go through this. And this is this feels a little vulnerable to me, like, you know, just kind of kind of going through this. But I know that there are people out there that want to do phone consultations that really struggle with their phone consultations and you just feel awkward and stuff on the phone. So hopefully by by you kind of hearing my phone call, um, it'll it'll give you confidence. It will help you learn. They're like, ooh, Nick, you sound weird. Like, I don't want to sound like that on the phone or, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, um, and as John, as we're going through this, I, I, I don't know, we're kind of doing this on the fly, guys. So um, if you need to stop me for some reason, or we can kind of go through it and then kind of talk about it at the end. So... Yeah, I feel I, like I'm going to have a hard time not stopping because that's what I do. <laughs> I interrupt. I try not to. But yes. Yeah. I get really so, excited and want to help people. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, what what, what, what do you want your, na your name to I mean, do you want to be John or should you be someone like... I think John and Heather would be the easiest, which is my wife's name and I. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm married yeah. to, to Heather. Yeah. yeah. Just as so, we're doing this role play. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, here I am. I'm calling you. You know, the, the, the phone is ringing. Blake, if you want to throw in a phone ringing, you know, you can, but it's pretty you know, short you don't, notice. Yeah. It, it is short notice. So if there's a phone ringing, cool. If not, um, okay, I'm calling you. Hello. Hi, is this John and Heather? 
Yes, this is us. We're so excited to be chatting with you today. Yes, yes, this is Nick from Wild Oak Films. How are you doing today? Doing pretty good. Can't complain. How about you? Oh, we're doing we're doing really good. I'm doing really good today. So um, I just like 15 minutes ago, I sent over our pricing information. Did you happen to receive that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. We, we had a few minutes to look through it. Uh, okay. So we have a few questions. But okay, yeah, great. great. And I'm and, and what I want to do on the phone call, you know, is I want to uh, hear about you and Heather and your relationship, you know, plans for your wedding, what you guys are thinking about. And then I will be glad to dive into any questions that you have about the pricing info. But we will get into that kind of towards the end of the phone call. Just if there's anything I didn't cover, that sound all right? Sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So why don't you, um, I, I just love to hear about you and Heather and your story and your relationship. So why don't you just kind of share that with me real quick? Yeah. So Heather and I actually, I met her at school and uh, we had chemistry class together. Uh, so we like to say we had chemistry. Uh, we were the early <laughs> class on Monday, Wednesday, <laughs> Friday. So I was always showing up in a hoodie. Uh, she somehow was all made up looking gorgeous and I kept trying to get her attention she wouldn't say hi to me. I was opening doors for her. And lo and behold, one day she was at our aerobic center playing basketball. I walked by, saw her playing. I grabbed a ball, went to the other side of the court, pretended to miss a shot. It rolled down to her side. And I was like, oh, sorry. And the ball hit her in the leg or something. I was like, oh my goodness, aren't you in my chemistry class? And the rest was history. We started doing homework together, uh, became best friends. And um, it's only been a year, but, uh, we're now excited to get married this summer. So yeah, that was kind of the, the basics of the story. Anything else you want to add, babe? She's got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she's real quiet. You know, usually it's, it's the lady that's the chatty one. So I'm glad I get to, to talk with you and hear yeah. your side, your side of the story. So you sure. kind of, um, were, were being like real trickery and, and trickstery and like getting her to like fake missing a basketball. So it would hit her like, uh, I, you know, I don't know if it would be called trickery, but yeah, sure. You can you can say I tricked my fiance into marrying me. Thank you, punk. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, so so that's how you met. You've been together about a year. Um, when did mm -hmm. you when did you propose? Uh, February eighteenth is actually when we did it. I I remember her saying that she didn't love Valentine's Day and just the hallmarkness of it. She thought the proposal was going to come on Valentine's Day, so I waited a few days later and surprised her. I took her out to eat at a really nice Italian restaurant. We went to the park where we first kissed and I got down on one knee at the same exact spot where she uh, proposed or I, where she kissed me and then I proposed. So she said yes, thank God, um, after a year of wearing her down. So she and I are getting married a little shorter engagement, uh, February, and we're getting married in June. So you know, okay. we've only got a few months to plan, but we saw your work loved it and thought video was, you know, pretty important. So we wanted to check in with you to kind of see if we'd be a, the right fit. Yes. Yes. Well, um, I'm, I'm really glad that you wore her down and, uh, you know, you, you tricked her into, uh, marrying you and all that stuff, you know, joking aside, uh, I, I, I thank you for sharing your, your story. Um, I, I like, you know, just hearing what makes people tick and, you know, the things that are different between them and, you know, hearing all these things. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you for, uh, you know, noticing our work and, and, and that sort of stuff and what we like to do, uh, with our films. Uh, so I'm going to share some info about us and our business. And so I'll be sure to answer any more questions that you have about that. Before I jump into that, um, I want to say I, I'm looking at your, your sheet here that you filled out and uh, my contact form and you're using Nina as your photographer, worked with her lots of times. She is great. You have chosen very well. So um, awesome. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. Yeah. And um, your your venue, um, the John and Heather venue is a wonderful venue. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, nice. Uh, yeah, you got you guys just have really good taste. And oh, um, your June date, I do have it available. Just you know, throwing it that out there. I wouldn't be, be talking. Thing, I yes. wouldn't be talking to you if I did not have that available. So um, let Perfect. me let me shift gears a little bit and ask you this question to you know have you think uh, 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 about your wedding maybe in a little different way. So Jen and I, you know, we show up at your wedding and we're gonna film on the day, but we can only capture three moments from your wedding day. Just mm. three. So what what three moments are you like, yes, I, I have to have these on film forever? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, babe, and if you want to interrupt, just let me know. Uh, but I'll, I'll speak here. Um, 
number one for me is I want to see uh, my bride coming through those doors, walking down the aisle at the church. I've been thinking about this that day my whole uh, adult life, really. From the moment I met her, that's the number one most important thing. Um, and then also my dad's going to be doing um, a prayer during the reception. That's really important. And I know Heather's dad and family are really important. So family's really important to us. We want to capture what they say. We don't really want it to be all about us. We really want to show off the people that, you know, our, our wedding's not going to be huge with people. And so, you know, our friends, our family, family's just very, very important to both of us. So we want to capture those voices. And that's why we're really interested in video too. Yeah, definitely. That's that's something that's so thank you for sharing that first off, but that's something that is so powerful about video is not only can you, um, you know, a photo, you can get those pictures of your dad speaking or your wife, you know, coming down the aisle, you can you can see that and you can have that photo. But, you know, video is something where you can really feel it and experience it and hear that um, emotion and hear those things over and over again. So uh, it, I'm very excited to, um, you know, work with you guys and, and deliver that to you. Family is very important to us as well. Um, you know, I, I love getting together with my family and, and, and hanging out with them and recording stuff and having those memories with them. So, uh, we we're on, we're on the same page. You're speak you're speaking my same language. So, okay. We're going to do a pause here because I kind of had a, a, a brain freeze for half a second. So why don't you critique me on where I'm at so far? Yeah. Well, you no farts. I, I can't smell any farts, so you're doing fine. Uh, you said you had a brain <laughs> fart, but no, no. yeah, yeah. Yep. Anyway, dad jokes. Um, so yeah, I mean, as it sits right now, I'm sitting here thinking, trying to critique anything. I, I mean, I think it feels good. It doesn't feel like you're going down a list or anything. It feels mm -hmm. personal. Um, I'd almost at this point kind of dive deeper into what it is about that moment with it that might uh, like just going a little deeper on the empathy or on the emotional side of things and leaning into that since you had my heart open and teed up um, why it's important to get my dad's voice like what's what does your dad mean to you what, it, what what's your relationship mm. with him like what's um you know like why like why do you care what the best man has to say who's that like or um you know just kind of opening up that door a little deeper and so that's just the next progression i don't know if that's where um, you were heading or anything with it. But if you do that and it's like, oh, well, my dad is everything. He's really important to me because, you know, like we grew up with a family of four brothers, you know, total. And like it was just the guys and like we did everything together. He took me to baseball. He took me. And so it's just like he's really important to hear what he has to say. Mm. Like I'm, I really want him to be proud like or whatever that I would say about that. And that would give you more information I would be taking notes. Okay, he has three brothers. It's kind of like a a news reporter kind of mm -hmm. gathering bits and pieces of the story, filling in the blanks and taking those notes. And it's like, oh, he has three brothers. I'm typing that out and writing that down. You know, and I would say maybe before, and I'm going to take notes while we're talking, while you're talking. So if I'm taking notes, it's just because I, I'm really interested in your story. Um, and then you could go back later and be like, so you have three brothers. Uh, tell me more about them. Like, are they going to be in the wedding party? Are you the oldest? Or are you the, and just taking mm -hmm. those notes and asking them. I've learned that people just talking about themselves in that, like if you, they, if, if you ask people about their family and can open up a door, um, you know, if they say, well, my dad's gone or my, it's like, do you mind sharing a little bit more about that? Like, if not, it's okay. But like getting them to open up those doors to their heart of um, not just so you can sell them something, of course, but like, because you want to tell that story. You want to build a better story. And the more that you open those doors, the more that's like, oh, I know that, that John has three brothers. He's really close with them. I know Heather has a brother and a sister. I know that Heather's mom and dad aren't married. I know that John's mom and dad are married. Like all that kind of stuff can be kind of opened through the conversation. So that's my only real critique. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else just off the fly. Um, yeah. Um, and, yeah. and I think that, and I think that just knowing myself, like that's, uh, you know, I'm trying to pull back, you know, later on, you know, I have, I have another half of this where I, I talk about me and I can go in and we can do that after break here in a second. But, um, you know, I'm trying to maybe use that stuff there 
you know, I'm, I'm remembering that sort of thing, mm-hmm. but I like, I like, you know, kind of taking it now while it's really, really fresh and kind of bringing it back, you know, Hey, okay. Um, you know what, whenever, you know, whenever you see your bride, you know, how have you imagined that being, you know, what, what, what have you mm-hmm. thought about, you know, um, there's that, that sales technique of, of kind of, um, pulling people out of where you expect them to go, mm-hmm. you know, where you expect it. And that, that's kind of what that, that three, that three moments question is right. Mm-hmm. Is it, it, you know, do you think you know how this conversation is going to go? And I have you just think a little bit differently about that. So, um, I, I know that that is a struggle with me in going through this conversation and they share stuff with me and then me like immediately going a little bit deep, deeper because mm-hmm. I think I, um, while I want to sell and I want to, um, you know, put myself in good light, I also don't want to take up 45 minutes of their time, you know, to do this. And so I think that that's, that's maybe the, while I'm kind of moving on to the next thing. And I think maybe sometimes that comes across as I don't care. And I'm just trying to move on the conversation when actually I'm trying to be respectful of their time. Right. So I know this about your personality and it's different than in my personality. I am more extroverted And I don't like I get lost in track of time when I'm talking and like, I don't care. Like, I just want to open up and gush. And usually there's one person um, in the the couple that is like that. I know both you and Jen and you guys are both a little more reserved. So maybe that's something, too. But um, as a wedding filmmaker, I would say the majority of people are more like you, not everybody, but being a camera person, being, you know, like a good people person, but like not wanting to make people have to talk more, but like I'm sitting here getting the interview or getting interviewed and I'm having a time of my life answering the questions and want to tell you more. I'm ready to tell you more and I'm mm-hmm. open to tell you more because I want you to film my wedding and I'm excited about it. And so like, it's not a, a hassle for me at all. And it does come across as like, it, it doesn't come across in this specific call, but I can see how it would come across as like, well, he's just a little bit short and he, I didn't feel, I felt he was a little cold. He wasn't like, mm-hmm. And the more that you just kind of peel back the layers a little bit more and go deeper on certain things, the more people are like, wow, I like him. He cared. He took like, he yeah. remembered I had this, he had, and, and those little things do add up. And so if you're a person that, um, you know, like gauge the room, basically, if, if somebody's really cold back and you can tell you're wasting, you don't want to waste their time, but if they're just like having a, like they're in, like, this is their wedding. This is their, like, they want to book you most likely. And so they're excited to get to talk to you and they want to tell you all about their story because they've been watching films and, and they want it to be really exciting to somebody. And, mm-hmm. you know, like I'm talking about mine and Heather's literal story. And I don't know if you've ever known the story of us, but I, I, li- I literally did that, you know, that's what I did. And so, um, I didn't trick her, but, um, but it's just <laughs> that, that made me feel more close to you because I told you more about my story. And so there's, yeah, I would, I'd probably flex that muscle a little bit more during your consultation. Yeah. And I love, and I love to flex like rip my shirt off with my big muscles that I yeah, don't do. really have. So anyway, okay. Um, I really hope listener that this is being helpful to you. Just kind of hearing us go through my process and what's going on. Uh, I have more to say. I have more of kind of through my sales call, and my process that we will get to right after this break. What would you take on if you had an extra set of hands? What would you do with your free time if you didn't have to edit? So many of us get bogged down in the post-production hustle that we never seem time to focus on our business. John and I both felt that way until we found Weditor. Weditor is a post-production team of top wedding film editors and project managers that give your films and brand the extra eyes, ears, and hands that they need. Not only is Weditor delivering films we love to our couples faster, but we can invest ourselves fully in other areas of our business knowing that Weditor has our back. Be the first to know how your second shooters are doing, how those new LUTs work with your footage, and relax knowing your couples are getting the full attention they deserve on every single project. So what could you do with an extra hand? Head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash weditor, whether you're ready to start now or preparing for next season. Be sure to use promo code HTFW for $50 off your first project. If you're interested in this service, make sure you head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash weditor soon. Fall 2020 spots are lined up and filling up fast. Weditor, more than freelance, more than outsourcing. 
Finding the perfect song for your wedding film can be so frustrating. We spend countless hours searching for the perfect song. When it comes to licensing music, Nick and I both love Musicbed. Not only do they have the best music, but their website makes it so easy to find the perfect song and to find it fast. We have both been using the Musicbed's wedding subscription for years and cannot recommend it enough. Not only are they adding new music from incredible musicians like Chapters, The Light, The Heat, and Tony Anderson all the time, they've made it incredibly easy to search their library for mood, genre, instrumentation, and even key. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to howtofilmweddings.com slash musicbed and use promo code HTFW for a free month of a Musicbed wedding subscription. howtofilmweddings.com slash musicbed. All right, and we are back from break. Um, what we want you to do right now, I'll say it again, head over to howtofilmweddings.com slash free workshops, where on this Wednesday at two o'clock central time, we are having a uh, building a better story workshop in that group where John and I are going to talk to you about things that we are doing that we what we are thinking about when it comes to our couples and selling the story or telling the story, not selling the story, telling the story um, on their wedding day. So that's howtofilmweddings.com slash free workshops. So John, let's go ahead and jump back in to my call. I have just gone through where, you know, I found out, um, you know, information about you, uh, how you got together, how you proposed. Um, you know, I have specifics on your wedding day. I am available. And then I asked you that question, um, you know, about three things that you would like for me to capture on your wedding day. Um, there we there. Okay. <clears throat> John, thank you so much for, John and Heather, thank you so much for sharing that information with me. Uh, what I want to do now is kind of shift gears and tell you a little bit about us, Wild Oak Films and our business. You know, the whole, th the whole thing that we're doing here is, you know, kind of interviewing each other a little bit. Am I good to work with you? Are you good to work with me? And I want to give you all of the information to make that decision as easy on you as possible to say that Nick and Jen are who we want to work with. So uh, Wild Oak Films, we are a husband and wife team. My wife, Jen, and I, we shoot every single wedding together. Uh, started business in 2012. It's been our full-time job since 2017. And we've shot, I don't know, 200, 200 plus weddings, you know, together. Um, it's been a, it's been a, a wild ride, but it, it's great. You know, I love the freedom that we have. And, uh, you know, we have two kids, our son, Maddox is five and our daughter Piper is nine. Uh, and you know, they're a big reason why, why we get to do this. So that's a little personal about us, I guess. But, uh, as we, yes. Okay. I've got a timeout for you. Um, maybe you're going into it, but <clears throat> somehow I would, uh, it feels a little like you're reading an about me section okay. from your website about you instead of making it just feel a little more soft. I don't know how you do that, but it just feels okay. like we're a husband wife team. We do this, we do what it's like if you added something in like we're crazy, we're a, we work together. It just works for us. Jen's this, I'm this, and just a little more of like softer on the edges. Um, and then I would almost say like, your favorite parts of, like move into some of your favorite parts about like why you do what you do like if i can only film one thing this is what i would do like this is what's mm -hmm. really important to me i've noticed this over the years of doing this like starting to mm -hmm. establish your expertise um as in like it's in with 200 weddings like we have seen it all and what i constantly see over and over again and you know this is people on the mm -hmm. other side of their wedding that they're so happy that I do this. This is what I do different. And why they're so happy is because we did take the extra time to help our couples enjoy, you know, their sunset or their day or whatever, or speech, or whatever is important to you. Like if you had to write your three favorite moments from the day, you could flip it and give them that. And it would make people feel more connected to you. And that's what we're doing here is like, it doesn't, it feels like you're a business still right now in my head instead mm -hmm. of like I gotcha. Jen and Nick. yeah. So, okay. Play. <clears throat> play got to got to get back into it sorry i, I know i didn't no, want to interrupt no, it. i should no, take a note but no but that's 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 really good info because i know that you know i have these things that i want to say that kind of show who we are and what we do but it is it is a little robotic maybe or mm -hmm. listy or something like that so yep. okay let's let's keep on going so <clears throat> Um, 
So that that's a little bit about us and who we are. Um, we do want to let you know right off the bat, we do take a limited number of weddings each year. And the reason that we do this is because we, we love what we do. And there's been years when we've shot 30 plus weddings and it was just it was just way too much and we found that we are not able to give our our clients our customers our couples the customer service that you guys deserve and the quality of film that you guys deserve that we want to deliver whenever we overbook ourselves so uh, we actually only do have uh, two spots left for weddings this year so um, just just throwing that out there letting you know that we are pretty booked up so we're only going to take two more weddings for the year um, but we we would love to to uh, potentially work with you guys. Um, another thing that we really uh, pride ourselves on is we want you to have a fun and stress-free day more than anything else. Okay, and we're not just um, you know talking about on the wedding day. We're talking about starting right now. I know you have a great planner that you're working with at your venue. Worked with her several times. But if there's anything that you need, you know we are here to help you out. Um, you know we're not a you hire us today and then we show up on your wedding in June. You're like, hey, nice to see ya. You know whatever. So we're <laughs> here to help uh, throughout the planning process. You know I'll, I'll help you with timelines. I'll meet with you again. Anything that you need. And then on the wedding day. Jen and I like to say we're um, a part of the bridal party, but we have cameras. So we're there to uh, help you with whatever you need. You know, Heather will will help you with your dress and carry your flowers and get you water because it's hot outside because it's June in Oklahoma. Like I get all that. So we we want to help you and be there for you um, on your wedding day to make it fun. You know, we want you to have good thoughts on your wedding day, not oh, Nick, you already have a hundred amazing shots of me outside. I just want to go in with my party and my friends. You know, we, we get that. So we're, we're thinking of you and we want you to have a good time on your wedding day. Um, Can I pause? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so that's all really good stuff. The Where I get to is kind of the, uh, that what you're saying is what you should say to all of the couples. What I try to do at that point in, in time would be somehow relate it, literally relate it and get the couple engaging with that um, to the, to like what they're literally doing. You said June in Oklahoma, it's hot. Like that's great. Um, but like setting yourself up as the guide even more, you know, like giving an example or like, a, um, you know, it's like, we want you guys to enjoy the day and, you know, we actually spend more time with you than your planner does. We're going to, you know, Heather, we're going to spend more time with you than John does on the wedding day. Or like we're, we, we know wedding, like somehow just like really reiterating how, you know, weddings, how you're going to really help them enjoy the day. And like, there's a lot of decisions to make, but you guys, you know, the, the underlying theme is you guys have been to 200 weddings and to really kind of drive that home. Like we've been to a ton of weddings. We have so many happy couples and it's because we take the time to do this or we, you know, just kind of going that next level into being a guide um, for mm -hmm. them. It's like, we want, you know, we don't want you just to uh, pick out your sunset or your, your ceremony time without like what we want to help with that. We want to make sure that you're, because the ultimate goal is we want you to be able to soak in that day. We want you not to stress about it. So leading up to this, we're going to have several conversations um, just about things, but we need to get to know you. We need to know what you're excited about. Everybody is different. We need, but it's like, so if, you know, knowing that your dad's really important, John, maybe we could do something where your dad's helping you get ready, or maybe you're you know, like something where it's like, you've taken information at this point after knowing their story more mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. infusing that into that portion of, of the call. Yes. Thank you for that. And, uh, I, there's actually a couple more points that I'm making that I think okay, sorry. that I, cool. I, no, no, it's okay. But, uh, yes, I, I see where you're saying, uh, set. That's a disconnect in my mind is yes, I have all this expertise and I know I need to be the guide, but how do I, how do I put that in there that I yeah. am that yeah, always thing. figuring out a way to infuse that guide mm -hmm. slash expertise without it coming off as douchey is the, is the goal. Right. right. Okay. Sorry. So, no, it's fine. Continue. Yeah. Sell me. Yeah. <laughs> um, as, as cheesy as it sounds, we like to say that we create a time machine of emotion. 
Okay, so every time you watch your wedding film, you're truly transported back to your wedding day. You know, think of it, John, of, of you standing there at the altar and the doors open and Heather, you know, walks in and, and you can see her, you know, uh, that emotion that you're feeling, that quiet anticipation that's going to turn into you bawling like a baby and, you know, all of those feelings and all of that kind of stuff. You're going to be able to relive that and watch that. Or Heather, you said you're really, really close to your dad. You know, you guys, uh, you know, dancing together on the dance floor, you know, you're together um, in that moment and just being able to relive that and experience that again, photography is so important. Like my wife used to be a photographer and we push for people to have photography, but video takes an extra step that photo can't. And that's that you can experience something through, uh, you can hear voices and you can uh, relive it and, and feel all of the emotion that goes with it. So that's something that we really want you to do, you know, is relive your wedding day time and time again. Another thing that we uh, pride ourselves on is we make a truly custom highlight video to each couple. Um, you know, I sent over a link over to our website uh, with some of our wedding videos. Hopefully you got a chance to uh, go through that and watch some of them, but hopefully something that you picked up on is that we don't do cookie cutter videos. All of our videos are different and we really tailor them as best that we can to our couples so that whenever you sit down and watch it, right, um, we want you to experience the day over again. We want you to laugh. We want you to cry. We want you to feel everything. But more importantly, we want you to sit down and watch that video. We want you to laugh. We want you to cry. We want you to experience the day. But for you guys to look at each other after watching it and say, that was us. Like that was a great representation of who we were on our wedding day. So in 10 years, 15 years, whenever you're talking to your kids or maybe your grandkids, if you decide to have them, you can show them who you guys were on the day that you got married. Last, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Last, and this is this this is a service that we offer that is an upcharge, um, but we found a lot of people really enjoy it. And it's what we call our keep, keepsake edits. What that is is we're basically taking all of the raw footage from your wedding day and cutting it down into a watchable format. You know, we take off the shaky stuff and we color it a little bit, add a little bit of music. Uh, maybe think of it as a uh, a really nice looking home video. You know, this isn't stuff that's going to be social media worthy, but we know that it's moments from your day that uh, we we want you to have um, because they are yours. So again, that's an upcharge, but it is something that we offer. So. That's it in a nutshell. I know I just dumped a lot of information on you. What questions do you have for me? Is this you asking me or me? I We're mean, still that, in the call. Well, okay. I mean, that's that. That's what I would do yeah. in the call. But you can pick it apart. Do <clears throat> do what you would do next. Gotcha. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go into John the podcast host mode. Um, I probably wouldn't have the keepsake talk at all. I would maybe okay. send that in an e email or send that afterward. Like, I don't, you're telling like right before you're as having them ask you questions, you're telling them something they, that isn't the sexiest thing to sell. So you're okay. getting them into a place where they're like, I don't want that. Maybe I don't want wild oak. Like you want them to be answering yes. Right before, uh, getting them into that part. Okay. Um, so questions, the things that I like to ask are, you know, like, when you said you've probably watched some of my wedding films, I would then go in and say, did it, like, which one have you watched most recently? John, have you seen it? Usually the groom's like, I'm just here. Like <laughs> right. she's been watching, but you know, it's like, Heather, have you, you know, did anyone stand out or what stands out about our films to you? Like, why'd you reach out to us and just let them sell themselves on you and getting them in that mindset of like, well, this is why I reached out. Like, Everybody else does music videos and yours have words and say, so, oh, yeah, words like we really, you know, that's, you know, and then I, oh, well, let me tell you the story about this couple, like where they had their dad filmed and then dad's no longer here and they called asking for the, you know, do you have my dad's voice or do you, you know, like that kind of like where you can like go that next level with whatever it is based on what sold them on you. Um, and I, you know, so I'm really glad you picked up on the colors that we use. I'm really glad you, whatever. Um, and then kind of just leaning them towards like, yeah, well with, you know, you'd be getting that same kind of thing. You know, we could incorporate, you know, I'm already seeing it. This is how I can already see some of your film going. You've told me this is really important. It'd be really great. 
you know, I can see it opening up with, you know, shots of you getting your, you know, like the two of you together at sunset. And then we hear maybe, you know, Heather, your dad's voice talking to you and we can, and you start like editing for them in front of them, Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. literally making them the star of the show. And that's where like, um, is it really like starts to click to them like, oh my goodness, if you're doing these things where they feel like you're the expert, you're going to really help them enjoy the day. And then you put them into the star role of the show and you're their guide to being that star or that hero, kind of Donald Miller story brand Mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, That gets them in the position, like you want them by the time that you're asking them if they're wanting to book to feel like they're working with an artist that is about out of commission, like can't do, like can't take too many more people. Uh, and your expertise is the only person on the planet that has the expertise like you do, you know, like you can layer that. However, it is possible, you know, if you're a newbie out there listening, you know, you, you can't use the I've been shooting 200 weddings, but like, We've done and seen it all. We've been to Mexico and we're going to South Africa and we've been to California this many times. We travel to planet and we see this at every wedding and people get stressed about these things. And this is how we fix that. And this is why we get booked up so often is because people tell their friends because we, you know, it's like the experience people have with us on the wedding day, they get to soak it in and enjoy it. And then, or whatever it is. But the point being is like, just layering upon layering of why it is the best decision they could ever make to go with you guys. Um, it's okay to be a little bit over the top on that. They're the ones that have reached out to you about your wedding, have looked at your pricing and are on a call with you. Mm-hmm. So if, if you're reiterating to them why it's the best decision ever to hire wild Oak films and continuing that and why, you know, what stood out about it to you and layering it with, Oh, your dad's important. Your sister's important. We're, we, I can see the wedding doing this. I can, Ooh, it'd be fun to do this. Like starting to like really dream with them. Oh, that's cool. Like maybe we can go back to that park where you guys got engaged and like, we could just like, what yeah. if, what if we did that? What if, I, whatever it is, but my electric's clicking on and off. It's windy here. If I go away, <laughs> sorry. Um, but, uh, layering that at the end of that beforehand, mm-hmm. um, and, like just the open-ended, do you have questions transition? Uh, maybe a little, I don't, I don't know if that's where I would go there. A lot of times in my consultations at that point, it's like, you know, I, I'm trying to get them the temperature gauge on whether or not, like, where are you guys at in the booking process? Like how close are you to being able to say yes to Wild Oak Films? Um, we love your story. This story is, we want to tell this story this sounds like it's a perfect fit for us. We would love, you know, we think we'd be the right fit. And, you know, I can already tell that we relate like this. I can already tell I'm going to be this on the wedding day for you. And I'm at the point now where it's like, I'm drooling to work at your wedding. So what do I need to do to make it to where this is a possibility? You you know, we can walk through some of the prices and stuff. What I would recommend for you guys is this and like being the guide and walking them through their next steps instead of, do you have questions about the pricing? Mm, mm-hmm. It's more, this is what I think with the expertise of hearing about your day with your venue, with your, um, you know, I've worked this venue. It need, you need this much amount of time. Like somebody else is going to try to sell you on less it, you need this, like you really need this. And you, you know, sunset's going to be late in June. So we're okay without a first look we can, whatever, but and this is kind of where we start people. And this is what I would recommend for you. Like those kinds of words. Um, it's like, I think we should start with our eight hour package. It's got two shooters. You're going to get that feature that you really like. We're going to give you a keepsake or we're going to give you a whatever edit. This is what I would film for my daughter. Like this mm-hmm. is, this is, mm-hmm. that's kind of how you, I lay it out. It's like, this is everything you would need. There are some extras we can add on. We don't know those because we got a little bit more time. But we can figure all that out. The main thing is to figure out today if we get the warm feelies about each other, it's a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars to reserve us, and that goes towards the total of seven thousand. And we make some payments leading up to it, and I can send all that over. But where are you guys at on like you know? Do you have questions about how that package works? Like kind of walking them, you know, you could have walked them through a little bit so, more. So yeah, that. yeah, I didn't. I mean that that's where I would have gone next. But I I like okay. that idea of where I like. Do you have any questions? And then 
then we get that awkward moment, but, you know, kind of finishing up, you know, with, you know, we, we aim to make, you know, this custom highlight video, you know, I built, I, I, I can see it now, you know, let's, let's, maybe we do a shoot beforehand where we go to a basketball court and have you guys, you know, kind of shooting hoops or, you know, we'll whatever, yeah. you know, you know, you know, so, so, something like that. And then that cuts to, you know, John, your dad's speech, you know, giving you a hard time about how you threw the ball at Heather and, you know, some, something, you know, whatever. And then we cut to you guys on your wedding. To, you know, all, all, all yep. of this kind of stuff, um, you know, really kind of pulling in that. And then um, instead of asking for questions and segueing to, you know, I would hearing, hearing what you guys have to say, I would love to work with you guys. I think it sounds like you're, you have a great story that we would love to tell. Um, I sent over pricing information, but really, you know, um, the package that I point everyone to is our um, build your own package where it's, you know, package where I would be happy if my child, you know, my daughter decided to go with it. it has our signature film, two shooters, eight hours on the day. Um, you know, it's a great starting spot. Just kind of go from there. So instead of, mm-hmm. so instead of me asking, I, yeah. Okay. I, I see what you're saying. Lead the and conversation, when guide you just them said that, that way. That, mm-hmm. Like when you just talked about going to a basketball court and then my dad and giving a hard time, like I put all those pieces together and saw that film in my head in a way that I've never even thought about my own personal wedding day. And mm-hmm. it's like, oh my gosh, I wish I had that. I, w- and whenever what happens psychologically, whenever you've put that together, they see that it's like, oh my goodness, this artist gets us. I can't get this with somebody else. I'm willing mm. to pay more. I yeah. want, I want to book them. And mm-hmm. so then it's just removing any roadblocks in their way to saying yes. And if they do give you a stop sign sooner or later down the road, like ah, we have to talk to you know, our parents first, or we have to, um, so a couple other little pointers on that side of things, and maybe you're going to get to it, but, um, kind of Sam Jacobson's, uh, talk we had the other day with him is, you know, setting an anchor point with, um, if you can get to the, to the fact where it's like, what do you guys, are you paying for it? Are your parents helping? Like kind of getting, once you start opening that door about money, go through that door. Don't, mm-hmm. don't like, don't, try t- to don't tiptoe around it. Don't tiptoe. Around. So, it's so like it's end- 8,000. We're expensive for a reason, you know, or, you know, it costs this much for a reason. If you want to go find a $2,000 filmmaker, like, and if you can't see a difference, that's fine. We recommend you go with them, but here's our commitment to you. Dot, dot, dot. And then, um, if you, say, you know, if mom and dad are helping or, you know, whatever, I'm glad to get on a call with them too. I know mm-hmm. that like, and I'm just trying to relate and empathize with them. Like, I know it's a lot of money that might be sticker shock for them. I'm glad to get on another call. Um, I like talking to you guys first. So that way you guys make a decision, but mm-hmm. you know, it's $2,000 reserves the day that goes towards the total. And then there won't be a payment for a little while, but it's all due 30 days before the wedding. I make it really easy for you guys. Um, that kind of stuff. Like, and yeah. then a, a, another couple of little tips. It's like, if you guys book by this day, or if you guys want to, if you go ahead and book today, I'll throw in that, uh, you know, I'll throw in this hour long session with you. If we can make the timing work at a basketball court or like, I just really want to work with you guys or whatever. You don't have to do stuff like that. But if you're needing a booking and need something to kind of anchor the conversation mm-hmm. with like book by this day, get this thing. So, mm-hmm. okay. I'll be quiet now. No, no, that's, that's great. And uh, I know we're kind of running up on, on time for our, our podcast, but, um, then, then the last thing kind of after I go on this is I always, uh, you know, say, here's our booking process. You know, um, we require a, a signed agreement and, you know, $1,500 retainer. I do it all online. So it's super se- easy for you guys. Um, so John, where, where, where are you at? Where are you at with this? You know, are you interested in securing us for your wedding mm-hmm. day right now? Are you re- you're asking me. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how I would, end. you know, yeah. and, and then, and then let that, let them answer that. And if, and you know, if, and I'm quiet until they speak, mm-hmm. um, if they say, no, we need some time. I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, I'll yeah. follow up with you that way. But anyway, um, that feels a little, little much rough. Uh, yeah. A little bit like, uh, it doesn't feel eased into it. Whereas in an, and then a couple of little critiques, uh, thoughts on like, uh, booking you like the, just the words that you use okay um, if you want to hold us for this day like if you want like just using kind of thinking through it as like if i'm at the four seasons hotel what would yeah. they say um just thinking about your word choice when it comes to you know we can go ahead and like um we can go ahead and reserve the day so that day's booked off for you like we can go ahead and mark out that day even without a full package kind of determined the main thing is to see 
if you guys, you know, if you know you want to use us, if you're for sure about that, we can just take the reservation right now. We can always, you know, like build and send over some con, like get some stuff back and forth. But like I said earlier, we're just so like, we're getting so many inquiries. Like we've had three more this week and we're just like, you know, it turns out when you do a good job, people really want to work with you, but like, I'm in love with your story. I think you'd be a great fit. Um, and then I would kind of go more into like, um, I know that, you know, you guys have a lot of decisions on your plate, but um, where are you guys in the booking process? We can go ahead and reserve it right now if you would like is different than do you want to like it just the wording right. of it. I don't know. There's something that's a yeah, little more yeah, like, yeah. And I will be quiet at that point and say, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to reserve it. All we have to do, we can take a card number. I don't even have to charge it today. I just hold the day with it. And then when I get, you know, or whatever you need to do to make it as like, if you guys are ready to do that, let's, you know, I'm ready to, to block that day off for you. I can't guarantee that it's going to like just the nature after all these years of doing it. Like I have to, you know, first come first serve when it comes to this or whatever your policy is. But thinking about soft transitions is all yeah. like, yes, yeah. you can ask a hard question, but like ease into that, like make it and make it where it's like, wow, I'm getting asked a hard question, but I don't feel like it was a, like the light was switched on or yeah. off. It's kind of the sunrise effect, you know, it's dark and then, oh, wow, it's light outside and I didn't even realize the sun came up kind of slow yeah. transition. Yeah. But, uh, that, yeah. That, that was those really are little tweaks. Those really good. Like, I don't know if you can hear me over here, but I am typing like yeah. different notes. And I mean, I can go back and listen to this, but um, thank you for helping me through that. And hopefully uh, you listeners out there, this has been a process that has actually been very beneficial to you where you can kind of hear the things that I'm thinking about what's John thinking about. And here I am 10 years in business and oh, almost 10 years in business and uh, you know, still learning, still perfecting, still trying to make myself better so that I can continue you to work and get these clients. And uh, so uh, I was a little, vu- felt, felt vulnerable for me today, but uh, overall I think it was, a, it was a good move. I think the vulnerability and I, I could have gotten it all wrong too, but this is just what works so far for me, you know, a few mm-hmm. years ahead of you on doing consultations and a little more like my lane, you know, but the vulnerability side of things for anyone in their business is the, you know, what makes them better. So I have a couple things. If you're out there and you're like, man, I really would love um, some type of mentorship from John or Nick. We do do men- do do. We do offer mentorship <laughs> sessions. Just look on our website at howtofilmweddings.com. But I will say this: um, I mentioned it earlier, but after our you know our free workshop talk, our course is coming back out again soon. And what we've been doing is recording with the permission of our couples some of our calls, like initial phone calls. I booked a $13,000 wedding the other day and I recorded the call. They said it was fine. And um, we are uploading those into our course, like just real life examples. And so that's coming soon. Just a little foreshadowing. If that's something of interest, kind of getting that on your radar. But Nick, it's always so much fun hanging out with you. I'm, I'm, it makes me feel special whenever you're like, can I have your help? And I hope it is the same for you. And that's why I love this relationship that we have why how to film weddings is so awesome because I'm always asking you things. I can't wait to do an episode where I'm digging into questions about how you do what you do on certain things that I feel like I'm needing work in. So hopefully, like you said, this information was helpful to people. Um, I think that's it for the, for today. I know we've got, we've got people to see places to go. So if you're out there, please make sure to like, and subscribe, be sure to head over to how to film weddings.com slash free workshops to get signed up for Wednesday's free workshop. And Nick, great hanging out with you. Till next time, we'll see you. Are you looking for a better way to deliver your wedding films to your couples? Look no further. Our friends over at Wedflow provide the most flexible video delivery solution on the market. Wedflow is pay per project with no large upfront cost or commitment, and you can cancel any time. Not only that, Wedflow offers a premium viewing experience for your couples. Accessible on mobile, tablet, desktop as well as their very own suite of TV apps. Each project comes with 10 years hosting and an experience for your clients that will blow them away. Stop delivering your films the old fashioned way and give your couples something to rave about. Head on over to howtofilmweddings.com slash Wedflow to check out Wedflow today.